extremely awesome. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. That's honestly the best way that you guys could support me, and I truly, truly appreciate um, all of your guys' love and support. It means the world to me. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop right into your reading. All right, Scorpio, let's just go ahead and hop right into your reading. Uh, how does Scorpio view their current romantic situation? Scorpios that are currently in committed relationships. How does Scorpio feel their current romantic situation? Okay. First card out, we have the two of pentacles. You have the moon, the five of pentacles, and we also have the four of pentacles. So before I even start, it's a lot of Capricorn energy. Um, you have the two of pentacles, the four of pentacles. We also have, um, Taurus energy as well as Pisces and Cancer. And what about Scorpios that are currently single? What about Scorpios that are currently single? How do they view their current romantic situation? Scorpios that are dating or single. Okay. We have the high priestess. Hopefully you guys are able to see this. And to keep it real, like, I hope it's just straight. All right. How does how does Scorpio feel about their person or, or, or their current romantic situation? Those that are not, those that are freshly single or dating. How do they feel about their romantic situation? Ooh, okay. King of Pentacles just popped out. Okay. So before I even get started, well, I guess that's a little bit too late, right? Scorpio, Scorpio's like, hello, you already done started this. Okay, so wait a minute. here you are right here, right? So you'll, you've you made it to the table with the Six of Cups. And then we also have the King of Pentacles. So for your person down here, for those of you guys, there's Taurus energy, Pisces energy, um, Leo energy, Capricorn energy, and also Scorpio energy. Here's what I'm getting for the collective, though, before I even start reading the cards. I feel like for some of you guys, you may be online dating or you may be tuned in watching somebody um, from afar or there may be something that you see online that you don't like. I also feel like for those of you guys that are in some type of committed situation, um, for a lot of you guys, I think you're realizing you and this person just really like there's something about you guys where you just don't mix or there's there's a lot of differences between the two of you. I also feel like two coming in for you guys. There's a lot of divine protection and divine intervention that's stepping in here, trying to change things around. Okay, with that being said, Scorpios that are currently in romantic situationships, whether that is an actual legit relationship or an entanglement or a situationship, whatever it may be, this is your top row, okay? Or this is for a past energy that's kind of lingering. I feel like you have options you you view either you have options or your person has options. There's a lot that's not being communicated here. You and this person may have had some type of falling out because I feel like there's a level of possessiveness. There's something here that this person, you or this person, you view that they're holding on to that they need to let go of that they've not done so. And I also feel like too, there's a lack of communication, a lack of time. It's like somebody's not putting forth the necessary effort and it's because there's something not being expressed or there's something that's not being said here, especially with the moon card. Okay, what do you want me to tell Scorpio? Okay, the two of pentacles is clarified by strength. I feel like it's making a decision on what's best for you, right? Or there may be an option with Leo. However, I do feel like there's something here where you're going to have to make some type of decision or you're very focused on whatever decision you're trying to make. The moon with um, the magician. A lot of you guys too may be speaking to a Gemini, a Virgo, um, an Aries or another Scorpio. This definitely could be your energy though with the moon. You're trying to manifest something here or you're trying to get something started here with this person. And I feel like this person doesn't even realize it. Um... And I feel like your person is being very defensive for whatever you're trying to get started with them. And I feel like it's causing a lot of issues um, between you and this person. And it's because it's like, I don't know why, but there's a lack of action up here. 
it's like a lack of action, a lack of communication as far as that is concerned. And I feel like part of you is lonely. Like this person, like you may be in a relationship, but you're still lonely. What's being manifested here? What is Scorpio manifesting for there? Okay, the Ace of Cups, something new. To be honest, I feel like you're tired of this situation and I feel like you're ready for it to end. I feel like you've been holding on to this situation for a period of time because maybe you wanted to see what you could do to, to get through it. But for whatever the reasoning is, I just see like it's not, it's not coming together the way that you want it to. It's like there's a lot of missing pieces to this person. There's missing passion. Like, I don't know why, but I get like this person doesn't have any drive. Um, and I think for you, it's like you're trying to get this person to be on the same page as you, but they're just not even close. How does Scorpio feel about their current romantic situation with this person? King of Wands, death, there you are. It's an ending. Seven of Cups, again, your energy. It's an ending to options. There's something that's changing. I think for you, you're tired of being an option to this person. You're tired of this person juggling multiple people. You're tired of this person just sitting there and being very robotic and constantly having these ups and downs that I think for you, you feel like is unnecessary. I also think too, you're done with the illusions. You're done pretending that this relationship is something that it's not. All right, for you guys down here that are single, I feel like there's somebody new coming in. There is a new relationship. Um, possibly with an Aries or a uh, Taurus. You have another Scorpio and you also have Capricorn energy here as well. Capricorn or Aries Scorpio energy because it's Mars, right? I feel like in, intuitively, you know who this person is or you know that this person is watching you. Um, they may even be a Virgo, but there's something here that needs to be expressed between the two of you guys. Um, in order for you to have some type of forward movement, this person may be at a distance um, from you with the Six of Swords. It's like, I feel like you and this person, you know that things are going to move forward with them. So with this person not working out up here, I feel like for you guys that are single and leaving this top situation alone, I feel like you know where you want to go and get to with this person. This is Mercury and Aquarius, right? So it's kind of like a level of like unexpected communication, but is it as unexpected? Because with the high priestess here, I feel like you knew, like you knew that this person was coming back around. It may even be somebody from your past that you dealt with as a child. Um, but I feel like this person wants to put the work in. This person is showing you, hey, I can be dedicated to you. That's Virgo energy. Um, and I feel like this person is tired of putting a level of distance in between you. And the best thing I can say is that with the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles, it's like this person is here and they're putting in the work. They want to see where things go with you and them. And I also feel like it may be somebody from childhood that you haven't spoke to for a period of time. This may be somebody that you had gone quiet on or they had gone quiet on you or there was some type of crazy breakup. That first, that forced this person to really dig deep and figure out what they wanted in life. Yeah, and I feel like you did have to walk away from this person because something wasn't working originally. And now I feel like this situation is coming back around. What's being, why are you showing me three of pentacles? With the six of, okay, with the six of cups. There's Leo energy. And how, and how would Scorpio feel about this? The two of cups. So here's what I'm getting, okay? I think that you have a crossroads here. We have the two of wands, that's Mars and Aries, and then you also have the twin flame card, okay? So here's how I'm viewing it. I feel like with this person down here, I feel like you cut them off a while ago. I think that this person is tired of not having access to you. So now it's like they're done talking. They're ready to take some level of action to show you that they want you. I feel like after a period of time where maybe there wasn't a lot of communication between you and them, I think that they did a lot of soul searching. And now it's like they understand your role in their life. And I feel like there was a level of self-work that this person had to do. And I feel like as far as you and this person physically are concerned, there's a lot of sexual tension 
I feel like with you and this person at the bottom. The person at the top looks like a headache to me. I feel like for some of you guys, you may even be getting a divorce or finally cutting off like a toxic situation that's coming in. All right. Who are they dealing with romantically? How does, how does Scorpio view their person romantically? The person that they've been dealing with for a period of time? How do they view them romantically? Page of Swords reversed. Okay. Three of Cups. You viewed this person as a liar, a cheater, um, somebody that didn't really have a level of purpose, I feel like. Um, cross watchers, sometimes you guys have to flip it, okay? Um, because Page of Swords reverse, that's somebody that's not truthful. That's somebody that just does things to do things, right? This is also a lack of communication. This may have started with a friendship that accidentally turned into something more, turned into a physical situation or even something at work. What do you, what, what about, how does uh, Scorpio feel about this newer energy coming in? This newer energy, this person romantically, how does, how does Scorpio feel about them? Okay, six of cups. You see, it's, it's very much like somebody from your past, right? As I said, that judgment wants to come out. It's somebody I feel like you've secretly had feelings for for a period of time. Somebody that you wanted some type of legit commitment with, but maybe this person wasn't ready, but something's definitely changed. Even possible location may have changed with you and this person or finances or something. All right. So person at the top, I feel like this person likes to have a good time, but I don't feel like there's any serious energy here. You have two pages, you have the full of the three of cups. I mean, that kind of sums up this person, right? A lot of times I think that they're very selfish. I don't think that they think things through. I think that they just push forward or push through in order to get what they want. I feel like this person tends to breadcrumb you. I feel like there's multiple people inside of this relationship and this person may even have some type of addiction to alcohol or some type of addiction. But also, too, there's a lack of communication and a lack of honesty between the two of you. That's what I'm gathering for this top person. Why? Why does Scorpio view this person as a page of swords reverse? Why does Scorpio view this person? Three of wands. It's like they say something and then they actually don't take a level of action on it. You also feel like this is somebody who is good with their, like, this is somebody who can tell you what you want to hear. And I also feel like, too, you may feel like this person lies just for different opportunities. Um, why is the Three of Cups here for how Scorpio feels about this person? Three of Cups with the Hierophant. This person, I feel like they're very stubborn with how they are. Like, for instance... If every Tuesday is boys night or girls night, they don't, they don't go away from that, right? So this person is very set in their ways. And I feel like there's, I don't know why, but there's a lot of like selfish energy that comes from this person for whatever the reason is. It's like, it's their way or the highway. If it doesn't fit with inside of their box with what they want to do, then they're, they're out. That That's what I feel. It's like working on themselves but working on what's best for them and once they get whatever they want it's like they move on they get bored they get bored very quickly why is the fool here for this person for how scorpio feels the fool with the king of swords i mean the king of swords is aquarius energy and the king of swords to me out of all the kings is like the mean king right this is the king that is extremely honest this is the king that's very truthful and intellectual and likes to say what they have to say, but they like to do things their own way. This is also somebody that I feel like takes whatever opportunity they can to get ahead. They're going to get ahead any way that they can. And I also feel like there's a lot of mind games that's being played here in order to keep you bound into this weird back and forth type of ping pong situation. And I think for you, it's like you want to let go of just the childish behavior. And I feel like you want to move forward with them to be happy because I do think you really do care about them. But I just feel like this person doesn't want to put the work in. Page of wands, five of wands. 
justice with the queen of swords. There's also something here that they need to completely cut off. This person may be married too, and they may be putting you into some type of third party situation. But for me personally, I just feel like this person up here does what they want, how they want, when they want. And they're the ones that are in control. They're the ones that are dictating. If they want to talk to you, they'll talk to you. But they'll go periods of time, days without communicating. And they feel like there's nothing wrong. That's how they are. That's how it's, it's like they're in a place where it's okay if I don't say anything to you. This person down here is definitely somebody from your past. Definitely somebody that I think you take very seriously. Somebody that you would definitely want a relationship with. They may be at a distance. They may even be a different ethnicity than you. Or they're just different than you. Different than what you usually have in general. With the Six of Cups here and the Page of Wands. I feel like this was some type of communication. Possibly online. Or you bumped into this person. But... It was like you were curious about what they were doing or this person came forward like, hey, how have you been? What's going on? You know, what's new? And I feel like there's some type of weird passion that you have for this person that maybe you necessarily can't explain. And whatever pause you had from this person or whatever break, it's like this person coming back around is making you feel good. It's making you like, I feel like this person coming back around is somebody that you wanted and wished would get their shit together a long time ago. And now all of a sudden it's like, they're coming forward, right? Or I don't know. I just feel like this is also somebody that you may have watched for a period of time, but it, needless to say, it's like this person is showing up, you're seeing them, you're meeting them, you're viewing them. And it's crazy because it's like, there's some type of wish fulfillment here. Like life is good. You feel like very balanced and grounded with this person. With the queen of pentacles here, that's clarified by the ace of pentacles. Hello, can I come in? There's, there's, there's going to be a different type of foundation when it comes to this person. And it comes very naturally. It comes naturally between you and them. You want to know why? Because you and this person balance each other out beautifully. And if this person is at a distance, I feel like they're maybe traveling to see you. But this is something where this is a huge turning point in your life. This is something that has to do with destiny. This has to do with some type of fate. It's crazy. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by temperance, heavy Sag energy. But like, let's take out the whole Sag or whatever type of energy. If we look at the fact that it's primarily Jupiter energy, right? Look, you have Jupiter here, Jupiter here. This is Jupiter. This is all about expansion. This is all about emotional expansion. This is fucking beautiful. Because see, here's the thing. This person is taking the level of actions to have a committed relationship with you that this person up top never took the time to do. They may have said that they wanted that. But that's just because they didn't want any competition and they didn't express what what you needed to hear. I feel like this person down here, it's like they understand that you needed to release that. And I feel like the period of time that there was a level of silence or you guys couldn't interact with one another, it's made this bond much stronger. Beautiful. Damn, Scorpio, this looks good. All right, what's coming in for Scorpio romantically over these next couple of weeks? What's coming in for Scorpio romantically over the next couple of weeks for this top person? Okay, Ace of Swords, King of Wands. Okay, Ooh. Two of Swords. Queen of Wands. Okay, so that's a kind of tough energy. But there is a partnership here. But again, you have the Two of Swords and the Ace of Swords. There's communication on a decision. Okay, what about this new person? What's coming in romantically for Scorpio over these next couple of weeks with this newer person? Okay, we have the Two of Cups. Woo! The Devil. The Page of Pentacles reversed. Can I be honest? I hate the Page of Pentacles. So for me, when it's reversed, I'm cool with that. Wow. And the Nine of Cups. Okay. So let's stop right here. 
If you want to know more about this, as well as everything that's currently on the screen right now, please feel free to click on the link in the comment section below, and it will take you straight to Vimeo, where you can purchase the extended. The extended's lit. We just go over everything pertaining to your partner, because I'm nosy, and I want to see what the hell's going on. Um, but let's just do a quick recap really fast. And then for those of you guys where this is good, then we'll all leave you here. But those of you guys that want more, you can follow me over to Vimeo. With this top person, there's communication coming in. I feel like with this person where now they're wanting to take a level of action. However, I feel like you're putting your block up here and I feel like you're choosing you. Okay. I feel like this queen of wands, I feel like this is your energy turning your back and walking away. For those of you guys that are with this new person, there's something that comes in here, okay, that it really solidifies your relationship emotionally, spiritually, at a core level. And I feel like tiptoeing through the tulips with this person, it's changing. There is a big, huge ending here. There's a huge transformation and there's a lot of change that's coming in and movement and it's because you're being guided to it so with that being said scorpio that is your reading i love you guys so much and i hope you guys are staying safe and i'll talk to you next time peace